In Concept U, the designers have managed to come up with a quite unique system of controlling your car where they have removed all of the traditional knobs and buttons. Everything is really focused on cleaning up to a, a nice clean interior and the main uh, interaction will be the screens. You have the screen in front of you where uh, even the map of how you're driving is drawn there to keep your attention in the focus of driving. Yeah? Then you have these two paddles which have uh, various sensors in them so when you touch them things start to appear on the screen. And in here you have menus where you can go in and set your settings for so set the car up as you want it. Everything from radio to your cruise control. And, and on the other side, we also have um, another set of settings which is more related to the cruise control where you'll have three different modes. And then we have the center screen where all your settings that you normally have is actually focused in here. So you have your uh, fans that you can differentiate in various amounts. You can change the temperatures here and everything disappears again when you're not once you've set your settings, it can go away. And you have various menus that you can then swipe in between. You have your comfort zones, where you can change settings of your climate. You have your entertainment, where you can change the balance and various, like you normally do on your uh, stereo. And then you have also safety, where you can check various safety issues. So you can have everything that you normally have in your car will be arranged in different ways in this screen. Uh, and also you have other functions like you're used to at your home these days with your iPads and iPhones and computers. A range of, of uh, apps you could say that you can go in and check various functions. You can go into the, to the radio this way and you'll have all the digital radio databases through, via the internet that you'll be constantly connected up to. And you have search functions to find whatever you're looking for really. Uh, there's also a sensing of when your hand's actually reaching it, so you can, you can have things appear when, when you reach the screen, which is a really nice feature, so you can again simplify it enormously. Once you're not looking and you're not touching, there is nothing really there that needs your attention. So everything towards simplicity, but still elegant and, and nice in its execution. And with the parallel pad in the back, the passengers can control all the same functions that you have in the front. And then you can also control things like this, which is quite neat.